Hey guys, Justin here. Um, I am just going to make a short video for you guys. Uh, for E21 owners, basically how you're going to adjust your idle and your mixture. There's a lot of documentation on how to do it if you look on forums, but there's not really a good video that kind of shows you how to go through the entire process. So I'm going to do that for you guys. Before you start, the most important thing is to make sure that you don't have any vacuum leaks. Uh, vacuum leaks will make it so that your idle runs high, and it'll also make it hard to properly adjust your fuel mixture. The way to check for vacuum leaks is basically using engine starter fluid and spraying it around your engine bay. That's one good way to do it. That's how I do it. Um, when you find a vacuum leak by spraying that, like near an injector seal, for instance, you'll notice your idle drops, and so you can say, oh, I just sprayed, I just sprayed engine starter fluid there, so that might be where the uh, leak is, because my engine speed dropped. So there's not a whole lot of tools you need to adjust this, there's actually only three. Uh, it does help to have a long allen, I'll go ahead and show you guys this here. This is a long uh, allen that I've basically made, it's a uh, welded to a screwdriver, an old screwdriver, so that works good. Um, it should be a 3 millimeter. I, I actually on my car have a 2.5, I'm not really sure why, but uh, so just be aware of that. It may be a 2.5, maybe a 3 millimeter, just in case you're not chasing your tail. Um, I'll show you guys where the idle adjustment is first. Let's see if I can get my light to turn on here. Which it doesn't want to do. One second. Okay. This light is defective. Let me grab that real quick. I'm always breaking my lights because they're always dropping and everything. Here's one that works. Okay, I'm just going to stick this right here so you can see it. And apparently this one's not working either. Uh, I always have the worst luck when it comes to these flashlights. Okay, I'm going to go the old school method with this guy. Okay. So if you look right down in here, you'll see right there, there's a screw. It's in the middle of the screen right now. That's the top of the screen. It's a uh, flathead. That's your idle adjustment. So I'm backing out here it's right underneath your intake, right where your throttle body is. You can see the, the throttle springs and everything right there. So just be aware of that. That's where that is. We'll come back to that. Your idle adjustment, or not your idle adjustment, your fuel mixture screw is going to be um, right through here and it's basically, let me see if I can, that hole right there, that hole right in the center of the screen right now, that's where you're going to stick it um, to adjust your mixture. How you're going to do that is you're going to come in through right here, so here's your intake, come right in through the top here and you can see right there is that hole for the mixture adjustment. So, um, the proper way to do this is start your car, let it idle, uh, maybe a good 10-15 minutes, get it all up to operating temperature, then take your auction sensor line right here, here's your auction sensor line, comes all the way back here, this black thing, hooks into your auction sensor right here underneath the exhaust manifold, put one lead from multimeter here, put the other lead grounded somewhere, I use this particular place and it seems to work okay. Uh, turn it to DC volts and um, then you're going to go ahead and adjust your idle mixture. Let me grab the Allen. Oh, uh, your, yeah, your fuel mixture, I should say. It's been a long week. So you're going to stick right there. And then um, you're going to turn it basically uh, Turn it counterclockwise to lean it out, turn it clockwise to make it rich. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in between adjustments, take out the tool, rev the idle a little bit, and then check your reading. You want it to be at 0.45 volts. I repeat that again, it's 0.45 volts. So that's pretty simple. And then don't forget to plug your oxygen sensor line back in, because if you had to do that, your car won't run correctly. And then to e adjust the idle, 
Now I'm going to move to the idle. You want to adjust your mixture first if you can. Uh, I've had good results doing that. So if you want to adjust your idle, let me get my light set up here. Okay, so to adjust your idle, just use your screwdriver, come right in through the side here. Uh, my light's not cooperating with me. Probably a sign I should invest in a real flashlight. Okay, so there's the screw. Just kind of Right from the side, right here. Okay, I go underneath this thing. Let's see if I can find it on camera. Right there. So there. I can't remember which way to turn it. I think it's um. I think turning it right might make it the idle go slower, but you'll notice it right away. If you are trying to turn your idle down, like it's say it's 1600 RPMs. If you turn it all the way down and it's still not going down, it's still stuck at 1600, you probably have a vacuum leak somewhere. So test for vacuum leaks and then come back to it and try it. And also redo your mixture too whenever you, whenever you have to redo your, uh, whenever you have a vacuum leak, make sure you adjust your mixture because your mixture will probably be off as well. So, and that's it. It's pretty easy to do and um, it's a great way to get your car running better and help you pass smog. So, because if you, uh, mixture is too rich then you might be having some problems so I know a lot of people and sometimes in California will have problems getting these cars to pass smog it could be something as simple as a mixture it could be something else but uh, it's a good place to at least start so all right hope this helps you and that is how you adjust your mixture and then right over here your idle so oh, and uh, I guess I should mention for idle uh, I can't remember exactly what the difference is between the manual and automatic, but basically somewhere in the 1,000, uh, actually the 900 to 1,200 range is pretty good. Uh, for the manuals, I think it's a little higher, maybe around 1,100, 1,200, but um, if anyone has a definitive number on that, go ahead and just post it in the comments below. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and I will try to get to them. All right, thanks for watching, guys.